side by side now with our tail of the tape. And there's not a lot between our rank 205ers. Paul Craig is four years older at 34. They're largely the same height, but Krilov will have an inch and a half reach advantage. With the official introductions, here's Bruce. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC Light Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a kung fu fighter. Only a professional record, 15 wins, four losses, one draw. He stands six feet three and one half inches tall, weighing in at 206 pounds. Fighting out of Coke Bridge, Scotland, Paul Belgium. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a Kyokushin Karate fighter, holding a professional record, 27 wins, 8 losses. He stands 6 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, presenting the number 9 ranked light heavyweight contender in the world, Nikita the When the action begins, our referee in charge, Ukash Bosaski. Ukash Bosaski, our referee for this light heavyweight fixture. And a win in this bout has significant implications for the upper echelons of the light heavyweight division. Paul Craig is looking for a breakthrough moment to enter into the top 10 and draw closer to a title shot. Krilov has fought three of the top five already Ready. and wants to earn Ready. another crack. Fight. 15 to settle it in the UFC's most explosive division. Straight to action, I mean, and it's already a net, an arm wrapped around the neck, gents. I mean, you've got to love the fighting spirit of Paul Craig. I mean, it just seems cliche to say. But this is what I was worried about. If Nikita Krilov from the top position, especially in something like half guard, this is where he can sit on that leg of Paul Craig and really hammer away with ground and pound. I love the way he starts to fight. I love the aggression. I love the immediately get to business factor that Paul Craig brings. But sometimes you need to slow it down a little bit and use a little more strategy. Because right now he's on his back. Krilov is experienced, as we said, on the walk. He can handle these positions. Well, let's see what Paul can do. 36 professional fight for Nikita Krilov at 30 years of age as well. But Paul Craig was talking about this as kind of a disadvantage as well, because he's got a lot of miles on the clock. A Look lot of shoulder pressure. Experience is a, a double-edged sword, of course. You know, you get good, you understand it all, you get better skills, but you do have a lot of wear and tear on the body. However, that said, you know, the last time he was in there was against Magomed Ankalaev, yeah. who has a pretty good knack of taking people out of there. <laughs> and he went to a decision, and it was a pretty close decision as yeah. well. Well, he reckons if he was a little bit more active, I believe he said the first round, that he, he might have taken that. So look for more activity out of Krilov, who's sporting some new artwork yeah, as you well. You guys see this shoulder? It's almost like he's proven a point to him right now as well, on top of Paul Craig. He's digging his forearm and his shoulder every single chance he gets into the neck and throat of Paul Craig. Well, that's an old-school technique, driving the forearm into yeah, the Yeah, it's just making very, his life miserable. Very uncomfortable. You're not going to get a submission, but it does, you know, I almost swore that, but it's usually, it does get very annoying, especially in training, like, what are you doing? But he's not going to win a fight like that, and that's what we're here to do. Now, Paul's going to get busy with the guard. Right now, he's in half guard. He's going to try and reclaim a full guard, or try and hit a half guard sweep. What he could do is usually suck him over, so Krilov, see that leg there, comes a little closer to the body, and use his left arm, and then tilt him over. Nice job of getting the guard. Oh, oh nice. Oh, oh, I think he's dazed. He definitely is. He's definitely dazed. Oh, 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 huge shots from Krilov. They were heavy shots. I didn't like the look on Paul's no. face. I thought he was, he was out for a second. I didn't want to say that, but I'm with you. Yeah, it looks like one of those hammer fists just kind of woke him back up. He's got to be oh, careful here. Oh, the lighty rig again. Krilov. Some up kicks oh. though from Paul nice. Craig throughout that famous triangle. It certainly worked here before. But Krilov doing a good job oh. now advancing to side control. I tell you what, sledgehammers, Michael. Yeah. They're very heavy shots, and typically it's hard to generate too much power from side control. Normally that's why you use elbows from there, but Krilov just came up bang, bang, over and over. 
Not a great start for Paul so far. I'm sure he doesn't need me to tell him that. Oh, oh they're heavy. He's got to get up. He, he, he can't. Paul cannot be content with lying on his back and playing the jiu-jitsu game. He's been successful before, but so far this round has shown us that this is not the path to victory. I fear that he may be content to be on his back during the fight, though, because he has such confidence. I'm not saying it's necessarily the right way forward. There has to be a point at which... Oh, yeah, when you we're seeing out. it right now, he's had opportunities, right? He's kicked the kid oh, off, oh. off of him and not gotten back up to his feet. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No way. One ten left as well. This. I mean, that's ten ten. That is a tight triangle. That, that is extremely in. tight. Oh, 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 Man, he's got to have put himself in that conversation for title contention now. What do we talk about? We talked about in the keys to victory coming into this fight that you can't stay down there. Even if you feel like you're dominating Paul Craig, he needs one second to throw up that triangle and you're screwed. I mean, that was an incredible performance, and he does it every time. Comes from behind, <laughs> takes shots he shouldn't do, almost gets knocked out. Here he is eating heavy shots. Trying to grab the ankle, he passes to the side, back into guard, lands a couple more 